hey you guys what's up you already know who it is it's your girl chanel j and i'm back with another video uh today i'm going to be creating a wig for a client of mine and she is using the beauty forever brand um i've never ordered any hair from them so as you can see i'm showing you guys like her bundles i think she had got 24 20 inch and 22 and then i think that was a 20 inch uh closure i think that was a five by five i'm not exactly sure but you guys are going to be seeing me make her wig if you guys have already been following me i want to thank you so much if you have not subscribed already please go ahead and hit that bell uh, for notifications for whenever i upload a video and please hit that subscribe button so you can know again whenever i upload a video y'all so yeah i'm not gonna do too much talking in this video y'all just gonna pretty much like i said see me create this wig um for my client and yeah All right, y'all, so right here, I'm just pretty much showing y'all the hair again. It is Beauty Forever Bundles, um, where she, um, where she, that's where she ordered her hair from. I'm showing you guys the um, closure so you can see how it looks. The hair looks really pretty to me. When I got it out the bag and everything, it looked really pretty. It felt good. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and create her wig. And as you can see behind, I have my canvas head because I was measuring the lines um, to try to make sure I kind of space them out decent enough um you know so i can place the tracks on there um in a in a pretty like decent space or amount of space because you don't want them too too close because um that'll kind of like make the wig tighter or smaller shall i say so you kind of want to space it out so it can kind of have more of that you know stretchy the mesh the stretch of the of the wig <laughs> y'all get what i'm trying to say <laughs> so it can stretch out and be able to fit your head so here um i'm pretty much Y'all gonna see me um, like trying to measure the closure and everything and I'm gonna, you know, draw on there. I use like these different little metallic markers to trace around it so that I know what not to go past whenever I am um, sewing um, the tracks down with the machine. So that's pretty much what y'all gonna see me do. Um, and I'm sorry, y'all, y'all see my baby. Yeah, her hair, uh, her hair was all over her head. I had actually just got off work, y'all. So excuse my child. She don't look like that all the time, but hey, mommy work. Um, I have a, a corporate job and then I also have my business. So, so yeah, she was looking a little, you know, crazy by the, by the head with dad at home. So y'all just, you know, y'all know how it is. Don't act like y'all know. Don't, don't, don't talk, you know, in the comments, keep it cute. All right. So anyway, we're going to skip on here. So I am just pretty much measuring out so that I can go ahead and, um, know where to place my tracks whenever I get ready to start sewing it down with the machine. All right, y'all, so I had, um, when y'all see me sewing the tracks on the machine, that's what I was doing. I was pretty much doubling the webs or whatever, um, just so that it can be a smooth process and fast process whenever I, I am sewing down the tracks on the uh, cap. Whenever you do um, double weft them, it just kind of makes the process go by faster, if you ask me, which I feel like it really did, but I had some interruptions because I am a mother and a wife, so hey. But anyway, so that's what you see me doing. I was just pretty much showing y'all. And then also the canvas head, I was just showing y'all the size that I use for my client and um, the type of mesh dome cap, which was an extra large for her in particular. Look 
look at that, y'all. Your girl didn't got better. Do you hear me? Because whenever I was first learning how to do this, y'all, nobody taught me. I was learning and practicing by myself, and I figured it out. So, yeah, I done came along. Ooh, child, I'm going to have to probably do, like, a whole look back on before and after pictures of when I first started doing it. But, anyway, um, what you see me doing now here is just pretty much showing, I'm sorry, sewing the tracks on the cap. Um, so, yeah, honey, we're going to go ahead and get this wig together. So y'all just enjoy watching. Thank you. 
all right y'all so that is it for this video um that is pretty much how the wig came out the client she didn't really want too much she was just like you know hey i'm just simple i just want a middle part she didn't even want layers or nothing she wanted to keep it long and straight but i just added a little razzle dazzle you know and then off camera i also layered it a bit more and i curled it like the next morning when i got ready to give it to her as well so yeah i want to thank y'all so much for watching my video again if you have not subscribed don't forget that to hit that subscribe button a uh, like comment down below if you have any questions or anything like that or let me know what more y'all want to see from me and yeah your girl is out thank y'all for watching until my next video